hey guys welcome to the channel and thank you for watching let's start this video by talking about cristiano ronaldo he told the referee it wasn't a penalty so he was on the floor right and the referee decided to give him a penalty and cristiano ronaldo was like no that wasn't a penalty fair play to him because many people have been calling him penaldo and kind of referees feel pressured to give him penalties you know what i mean even if it's a little touch you have to give a penalty to ronaldo i know some people are calling him penaldo and whatever i don't want to get to that uh, field because you have to respect one of uh, the greatest so today i think that was a fair play act from him you know he's not he's not uh, cheating on penalties and he showed people like hey i can get a penalty in a good way but not in the bad way and believe me he's gonna get a prize for this one you know ballon d'or fair play trophy next season save this video and you will see that he he's gonna get the fair play award and he's going to be back in the conversation because of what he did you know because we all expect ronaldo to get a penalty or to run to the referees and tell and ask them why you didn't give me a penalty that was a push that was this and that but this time he's like no 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 i don't need you to feel sorry for me that wasn't a penalty let's move on very quickly after talking about cristiano ronaldo yanis uh yanis or yannick bolasi remember him wow this guy had the vibes of uh, neymar he can dribble past so many people his career didn't really go according to the plan after getting a very bad acl injury when he signed for everton remember and then his career kind of went down the drain but still he was playing not long ago with his national team the drc so he's back in the championship now with swansea city probably the kid today won't remember him but watch some videos of this guy wow what a player all right my people so we're gonna talk about chelsea now and they just signed another wonder kid yeah surprise anyways so corinthians already received 26 million euros which is less than that in uh, in pound right it could be around 20 to 21 million pounds for this 18 years old midfielder yeah let me repeat midfielder i know why i am i'm putting some emphasis on midfielder my friend think about it how many midfielders we have enzo caicedo galaga andrew santos cesar Casade. the list goes on so many of them what are we gonna do with everybody we can't fit all of them on the pitch listen i i don't want to kill your joy all right because people feel good it's a feel good factor when chelsea buys somebody but my problem is what are we going to do with this 18 year year old very talented guy are we gonna just kill his career the way we did with other youngsters you know i don't care about strasbourg or whatever team we gonna buy i care more first of all about chelsea if todd Bowley and his people are extending the blue label that is their business to make money but i wanna see bowlers at chelsea football club and sometimes you can't always buy like a bunch of kids sometimes you just need to buy already made ready to kill players in some positions i'm all for development but i'm also all for winning at the same time you know what i mean so uh many many sources already confirmed about it i'm not really excited about it because we have so many midfielders and i'm just wondering did we really need it to spend 
a lot of money on Lavia, you know, on Enzo Fernandez. Are we just doing things for the heck of doing it? And what is the plan for all these youngsters that we are buying? Andrew Santos, listen, with all the respect, I don't think he would have done worse than Enzo Fernandez at the moment. People ju just don't want to tell the truth. But Enzo being the worst player in the Chelsea team overall this season. You know it. I know it. This is not an agenda. This is stating fact. He needs to improve. He's going to be world class one day. I will continue supporting Enzo Fernandez. I wasn't happy about the money we spent on him. But he's my boy. As soon as we sign you, you are my boy. But we didn't sign you for for that kind of performance. You know, the performance has been really poor from Enzo. He need to improve. All right, my people. So we already talked about uh, this youngster. I even forgot to, t <laughs> to mention his, ma his name. Gabriel Muscado. That is his name, right? So, yeah. Let's go. Simon Phillips, what are you saying, bro? So Chelsea have opened some contract talk with another midfielder, but this one is somebody from the academy, all right? So uh, Leo uh, Castadine, he is very, very good. He can score goals from distance. He's a midfielder, but can play as a number nine, and I've seen him also play as a winger in the academy level and even as a number nine very very good player scoring a lot of goals and this is one of the players that you don't know what is his future and look at even charlie webster we sent him in holland on loan but another midfielder that we could have used so i don't know man i am very very confused about this one um yeah other report from matt Lowe talking about chelsea will uh, look to uh, strengthen, you know, strengthening in the in the in the striking position. Blah blah blah. I think it's the same old, same old. There's nothing new here. And look at this one, Armando Broja. Lord have mercy. So Armando Broja, according to Matt Lowe, uh Noni Madweke. Both could consider their future now, like the club thinking about probably loaning them out or selling them. So we don't know. And why are we buying them to begin with? Noni Madueke, when we bought him, we knew that he was injury prone. We bought him anyways, just like Wesley Fofana. We make decisions and after a few months, we don't, we don't see the return. I still believe that Noni Madweke is a very good player, can cook, but he needs playing time. Ah, it is what it is, my people. So, according to Matt Lowe, let me just remind you the, the entire list here. Trevor Chaloba, Malangsa, Chelsea are trying to sell them. Jan Madsen, Chelsea will listen to offers. And player that could consider their future, Noni Madweke and Armando Broja. Listen, Armando Broja, we have Jackson going to the African Cup of Nations in January. We need a number nine. And I don't want to just jump and then spend 100 million on Osimen or Tony. I think the best market is going to be in summer. I still believe that if we keep Broja fit, he can help us until the end of the season. But listen, the end of the day, I don't make decisions. And it is what it is. Let's continue very quickly here. Timo Werner could move to Manchester United. <laughs> Imagine Timo Werner with Manson Mount playing the same team again. He's been also linked with uh, Fulham because he's not having enough playing time in Germany. So let's wait and see what's going to happen. But Timo Werner is going to always be my boy even though the narrative doesn't say anything and will make him look like a flop at Chelsea, but he won me the Champions League. Respect, man. Respect. Moving on. 
So Gabriel Muscado, as you can tell here in this clip, uh, he been confirmed literally by NATO. Remember NATO? Yeah, back in the day. Uh, he has confirmed he got a show in Brazil where he, you know, he talked about players and stuff. So, so he said it. he used to be in the same team as Muscairo. So um, he confirmed it. So uh, we're just waiting for like Fabrizio Romano to confirm it. I've already talked about Leo for the new contract. So we don't need to repeat all the time on that. We already touched on Armando Broja. Wanted by West Ham also. Want him. Fulham want him. And some other teams. All right. That's uh, more than enough. Let's just appreciate this goal here from Garnacho. This this guy is very, very lucky because the goal is going to just like whew, push him to the top. Sometimes in your career, you just need moments like this. So everybody starts talking about you. I hope that the kid can stay, you know, leveled, you know. Just be humble and continue walking. But that bicycle kick was something else. But he was on his own. Nobody was marking him. But to pull off that kind of, you know, bicycle kick, ask Ronaldo, ask Gareth Bell, ask... Uh, Ibramovic is not that easy. So he pulled it off and it's working for him. So he's, uh, he's the star all over the world right now because of that goal. I just don't want him to be like Pavar because in France, remember, Pavar scored a wonder goal in the World Cup uh, 2018 in France and that goal kind of made his own career. No matter what he does, people will just remind you that goal.